No, okay, go ahead. Do you want to say it before I start the video? This is a Total Justice Gaming production sponsored by the Long Katana Dragon. All right, guys. Uh, my name's Trey. I'm with the channel. Um, the, my buddy, this is my Sun Dragon deck profile. My buddy is a. Uh, what? Shut up. Oh, it is version two. You listen to the comments. <laughs> I was getting to that. This is the Great Sun Dragon Ball Dragon. It's the one out of the Buddy Champion box. Um, this is the one where if you link attack with the Sun Dragon, you get to check top five cards of your deck and tutor a card, either a monster or an item. And put it in your hand, and then you discard a card. Now, it does a really good combo later. We'll explain that later on. But, so, oh, I guess I'll say this now. Uh, I listened to the comments and stuff that you guys posted about the last deck video when I built the deck in about 10 minutes and just started playing with it. Um, um, this, so it, it had too much life gain. I took that into consideration. I tutored it down a lot. So it doesn't have that much life gain anymore. It's very little at all. Actually, I think there's probably six cards total, maybe, that gain life. And it's one of life gain. So, but um, we're going to get into that video. It works a whole lot better now. So, uh, we do four of the buddy. Uh, all buddy rare because we just had to be that way. Um, now, we do three of the original ball drag. It's a 10,000 beat stick, um, and then it has penetrate. It pays one gauge to enter it, uh, uh, call it. So it's really good for if we face Ozzy DeHaka or the second inverse Omni Lord uh, Osmodi, which uh, both decks actually our other friend Michael with the channel has. They their main monsters that do the most damage have 10,000 power. This helps us get over that with one card. All right, and then. Uh, we play two Awaken Ball Dragons. It says that when it enters the field, I can return up to one Sun Dragon item from a drop zone in my hand. All right, size one. Now um, we play four uh, Black Spot Dragon Black Dot. Now it's a size one, five, one, one. Uh, it has move, and then the best part about it is it can't be, while it's on the field, it can't be destroyed by card effects from my opponent. So that just means that if they want to get rid of this, they have to actually attack it. Um, I also play two of the original Fire Fang Dragon. Uh, when it enters the field, uh, if I have another Sun Dragon, I put the top card of my deck into my gauge, and then I draw a card. It's a 3-1-1. It's just really good. It helps us gauge, helps us draw. Drawing's always good. We tech one Lava Pig Dragon. Now, this one's a 2-2-1. Two, two, one. Shut up. And um, it's it's effect is uh, if I have a size three on my field, I can reduce the size of this card by one. All right, and then when this card enters the field, you may pay one life. If you do, destroy a monster on your opponent's left or right. That's really good to just pick out the annoying cards that your opponent's constantly guarding for if you're trying to swing at it. Free cost of life. We gain life back in the deck a little bit, so it's good. We play three Fire Fang SDs. It's. Alright, yeah, y'all are confusing me here. Uh, it's a 2 1 1. Now, it can't be called center, but um, if your opponent doesn't have monster center, it gets plus 3,000 power. That makes it a zero with 5,000 power. That's really good. Um, and then during my turn, when a monster on my opponent's field would be destroyed, um, I get to draw a card. It activates once per turn, but it's really good because it lets us draw cards, and then it also serves as kind of... Your opponent's going to want to target more by effects, by attacks. They're going to want to get rid of it because they don't want you drawing cards every turn. So it's really good for that, too. We play one Ball de Soleil. Super Sun Dragon Ball de Soleil. Um, our friend, uh, the guy that actually runs the channel, uh, Joe, he uh, pulled one of these out of his boxes. Uh, we were very grateful. Um, it's a size 3, 7-7, seven, seven, 2 crit. And it says, it's a uh, 2 gauge and put a monster from my field into this card's soul. And then if there are one or more cards in this card's soul, this card gets plus 1 crit. And any damage that's dealt to me, that damage is reduced by 1. So, 
if we put more cards in Soul, which we haven't really done that much with the deck, we're not trying to focus on him, so we're not putting any cards in Soul. But if I were to stack more cards in Soul, it would just make it to where the effect would just last longer. It's really annoying. Uh, it's got double attack, and then it's got a Soul Guard, and then a counter effect. I can pay one gauge if I do destroy a monster in my opponent's center. It's really good for killing people, stuff that people sit on tanks, like uh, Ozzy, uh, Grade 3 Inverse Osmodi, uh, cards that they put in the center that have Soul Guard. It just helps us get rid of that. All right, now we're going to do uh, the impact. So we play one uh, Ball Dragon, Ball Burst Smasher. Uh, pay three gauge, put on top of a sun dragon on my field. It has soul guard. Um, if this card's attacking alone, it cannot be nullified. And then its uh, stats are 11,000, 4 crit, and 6,000 defense. It's really good. Um, we play one ball dragon, great full ball lariat. Uh, we didn't originally play this card, we just put this in because uh, we came across a situation where this is better than most other situations. It helps return deck because we have come close to decking out with this deck before. Um, but it's pay through gauge, put a sun dragon monster from my field into my drop zone. Uh, it's 11, 3 crit, and 6,000 defense. Uh, when this card attacks, you may put up, up to 3 Sun Dragon, and it's just Sun Dragon, it's not monsters, from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck. If you do, destroy cards on the opponent's field, equal number of cards you put back. And then it, this effect is worded to where if you, it even says it in the little princess, you can target the same card multiple times. So. If they have, like, uh, the original size 3 Ozzy the Hawk, I had ways to save itself. He'd have to pitch 2 every time if you targeted it 3 times. So it just works over and over. Kill some more and stuff like that. Alright, and then we play 4 of this other one. Now this one is a promo. Um, it's really good. I was lucky enough to find 4 copies of it. Now this one's called Ball Dragon Extreme Rage Barbarian. It's 7,000, 3 crit, and 6,000 defense. Um, pay to gauge, put a sun dragon from my field in my drop zone. Now, this, uh, it has a counter ability. Uh, put three cards from my deck into my drop zone. If there are two more sun dragons, and it doesn't specify monsters, two, just two sun dragons, uh, destroy a monster on your opponent's field. I can only use it once per turn. So I can use it during my turn and my opponent's turn. It's really good. They enter battle, can interrupt attacks. It's really good. Alright, now we're going to move on to items. I play three of the early. Dragon Force Straight Punch. This is the no, one from the Buddy that. Champions box. Um, it has the same release conditions as the original. Um, six life or less, have Ball Dragon on the field, pay two gauge. Uh, yeah. Same same effect Joe. where it can't be destroyed, no return to hand Joe. by any ability. Oh, DS, and its attack can't be it. nullified. Yeah, its ability can, cannot be nullified and it can attack during your final phase. That's what it is. And then when this link attacks with another sun dragon, destroy all monsters on your opponent's field and deal one deal damage to your opponent equal to the number of cards destroyed. So playing with the grade one rush deck and it destroys thir all three of them. It's three cards. Um, it's just it's really good. It damages plus it's decent stats. Five thousand two crit. Now I don't play the old one. The way I have this deck built, you, you don't use the restanding dragon force in this deck. It doesn't work. I tried it. I did try it because I wanted to use it, but it does not work. This works Thank a lot better. I appreciate it, buddy. All right, and then we play three Sunstone Ball Flames. Uh, pay one gauge to equip. Uh, 5,000 power, two crit. And its counter ability is, I may put this card in drop zone. If I do, the next time I'll be dealt damage this turn, it was reduced by two. It's really good. So, like we said earlier, we don't have um, that many life gain cards. So, reducing the damage to what we need it to be is a little bit better. It'll slow the game down a little bit and still keep it going in the correct direction to equip our Dragon Force when we need to. Now we're going to move on to spells. So as far as I play four Sun Dragon Shields, so you guys, the game's been around for a while, you guys know this. Uh, if I can't, I can't have a monster in my center and uh, I can only do an attack on punch turn and I have to have Sun Dragon on field. Nullify the attack, top card on the deck in the gauge, gain a life. And then if I have two or more Sun Dragons on the field, any Sun Dragons, it can't be nullified, so it's, it's still really good. 
Yeah. Now we play three copies of this new one. <clears throat> it came out of the newest set with the uh, Baldo Soleil. This one's called Sun Mirror. I can only cast it if I'm being attacked. So it doesn't work if my opponent's attacking my monsters. Nullify the attack, and then if my opponent does not have a monster in the center, put a card from my opponent's gauge into his uh, into his or her drop zone. It's really good. Interrupts battle. It can it can also stop your it can mess up your opponent's math as far as gauge for final phase. So it can interrupt that and just completely cancel out their final phase all together. All right. Um, we we'll play two of this new one too. Um, this other guy's a new one too. This one is. Um, you guys complained about there being Dragon Bonds in here because it gains me life and saves the card. Well, this one says if they attack it, attack a size two or less monster on the field. So that's every monster in this deck except for Ball of Soleil. This applies. This card applies to. I return that monster to my hand and put the top card of my deck in my gauge. Dragonic Loop is really good. Very useful. Um, we take this one Dra Dragon Guard. I can only cast it if a monster on my field is being attacked. Or change the attack target to me, and I draw a card. So I'm just taking the damage. I get to draw a card. It kind of just saves my monster there. Now we play four copies of Ball Rescue. Now, this one has two abilities. Uh, one, and it's a choose one. You can choose one of two. The first effect Put two top two cards of your deck in your gauge. It's really good. We need gauge, of course. Then the bottom one is is really good too. Uh, if you have a monster ball dragon on its name. It does not work with Ball of Soleil because it specifies ball dragon um, on the field. If I have a ball dragon on the field, I can return one sun dragon monster from my drop zone in my hand. Now it just says monster, so I can get in impact monsters back from the drop zone. Okay. Um, we played two of this card. It came out a while back. Uh, I'm trying to think. What set is this? BTO3. HBTO3. Oh, that's um, nice. It's called Dragon Bind Attack. Pay one gauge. Uh, I draw a card, and then during this turn, during the battle, which cards on my field link attack an opponent's monster, your opponent cannot use or cast a counter. So this helps us get over Ozzy Dehaka, and they can't do stuff like use shields. Um, this deck does link attack to pull off some of its best abilities, so this is a very good card for that. Um, played out the two of them. And then the last card is we play uh, two Ball Reviver. This is the other card besides the Sun Dragon Shield that gains its life. Uh, it only activates if uh, I have a Ball Dragon on my field. Um, pay one gauge, counter, gain three life. Okay, now we're going to do one thing real quick. Unless you stop the video. You got, I didn't stop it. All right, we're going to do one thing. I'm going to show you one combination really quick um, that allows us. We can get this back with the, our buddy. And then later on, whenever we need it. So that was the thing I said earlier. You link attack with something with the buddy. Check the top five. If you see this and you don't want to get rid of anything in your hand, grab this from the deck. Then just discard this. Then later on, when you're at six or less, you can call Awaken Ball Dragon. Get this back to your hand for free and then pay the equip cost. So you've got the Ball Dragon there if you don't already have one on the field. And then you just pay the two gauge and release some Dragon Balls. Then you link attack with these two with the 8,000 power and blow up the board. And of course, if, if you're targeting a monster, the attack will fizzle. But other than that, it's a really easy way to get the Dragon Force, especially when you're tutoring and you don't want to discard any of the other cards in your hand. You can just discard this and get it back later. That's one of the easiest combinations to do with this deck. Thank you. Have a good night. This has been a Cringe Production.